Jesus is the answer for the world today. Morning, saints of God. My name is Reverend Annie Cooper from Christian Pentecostal Church. Today's devotional deals with identity crisis. But before we go into the devotional, let us pray. Heavenly Father, as we come humbly before your throne of grace, I ask you, Lord, that let me decrease and let you increase. Use me as an oracle, Lord God, to share this in, um, devotion that you have given unto me. Lord God, and let it be used for the glorification of your kingdom, that your people would be blessed. Oh God, Lord Father, use me, use my voice to Lord God and um, speak into the lives of your people. This I pray in Jesus Christ's name, amen and amen. Many of God's people have developed an identity crisis. This problem may be the result of wrong doct doctrinal teaching or religion, which is man-made rules and regulation, also called humanistics, thinking and theology, or taking scripture verses out of context. God said in his word that you are fearfully and wonderfully made. You are made in his image and in his likeness. Because you are made in his image and in his likeness, there is no mistake with the Lord. Your identity is not in the abundance of things that you possess. Because the things that we possess in this earth is not eternal. Our identity is in Christ Jesus. Our identity is in our salvation in Christ and who we are in him. Because these things are passing away, we no longer can hold on to the earthly things because it is not where we find our identity. We have been saved and bought with the price of the blood of Jesus Christ. That gives us the privilege of being identified with him because daily our character becomes more like his character. Our identity is not in the education that we have. As we age, we tend to forget what we have learned previously. Using this example of a teacher and a nurse, ever so often they have to go back to school to be retrained in new issues that arises in their field. It is the same. Things are passing away. And when your identity is in Christ Jesus, ever so often the Holy Spirit that leads us into all truth gives us the revelation and the discernment to know what is the enemy has brought into the world that is new, that is going to have an adverse effect upon the people of God. Your identity is not in your looks or your body structure. Your body will betray you. As one person said, that after they cross the age of 60, everything seems to be pulling downwards by gravity. So your body will fail you. So if you put your identity in your body or what you look like presently, sooner or later, it is going to betray you and it is going to fail you because it will not look the same way that it once looked when you were 20 years old. Your identity is not in your spouse, your children, your friends, because they will die and leave you. But your true identity is in Christ Jesus because he is the only one that said he would never leave you nor forsake you, that he would be right there with you until the very end. So whatever else you put your identity in beside in Christ Jesus, 
it will all fail you because it is earthly things, things that are physical and not things that are spiritual because the physical is deteriorating. As we look around, we see that the landscape is changing. There are so many floods and so many famine and so many earthquakes and so many different issues that are taking place in this world. It was not, if I could remember, it was not as when I was first growing up. All these things, there was wars and rumors of wars. So if you put your identity in this world that is fleeting, that is passing, your identity will be destroyed. But if you put your identity in Christ Jesus, which is an eternal identity, there is a security in knowing that he would never fail you. There is a, a security in knowing that your identity is eternal. The moths and the worm, the, the, the canker worm, the plowing worm, or the grubbing worm cannot eat your identity or destroy. The thief cannot come to steal or to, to destroy your identity if it is in Christ Jesus. So remember... All of the other things that are physical, it will soon pass away. But if your identity is in Christ Jesus, you have an eternal identity that will not fail. It will not fail. Your true identity is in Christ. And here are some scripture verses to encourage you to walk in that identity. You are a child of God. It is found in 1 John 3 and 2. It is such a privilege to be called a child of the creator who created you and still give you the privilege of being able to call him Abba, Father. You are a co-worker of God. God consider you worthy that he placed his word in your heart, that he placed himself in you because the word is him. That you can share that word with others. That you can become a co-laborer in the vineyard with the apostles and the prophets and all those that came before you preparing the way. You are the light of the world. God has enlightened you to be able to bring light to those that are in darkness. Being the light of the world, we know that in a bulb, there is two elements that comes together to bring forth light in the physical. Well, Jesus Christ is the element that lights through you, that can give the world light because the world is in darkness. And right now, because everyone is searching in the world for an identity and they have an identity crisis, you can be the light that will show them where the identity lies in the goodness of the Lord, in the patience of the Lord, in the love of God, in the um, salvation of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. You are God's masterpiece created with his own hands. He took you, as it says in Genesis, from the dirt in the ground. And what he did, he molded you and formed you unto himself, and then he took his own precious, righteous, and holy breath and breathed it into your lungs so that you can become a living soul. You are a masterpiece. You're, he is not finished with you as yet. So when a painter is painting a masterpiece, it takes a long time to complete the work so that it can be in excellence. The completion of God's masterpiece is when you meet him face to face in heaven. He's still working on this masterpiece, so don't be discouraged, don't be dismayed, and don't get weary of well-doing. For as someone said this morning, in due season, in due season, you will be blessed. You are a new creation. That is another thing that God said about you being your identity is in him, for he has forgiven you of all of your sins and unrighteousness. Since there are many more things in the scriptures that speaks about who your identity is in Christ Jesus. So gravitate and search out the scripture to be encouraged as David did. He encouraged himself in the Lord when he was down and out. You also encourage yourself in the Lord, even with these few scripture verses that was given to you, knowing that you are beautifully and wonderfully made as one of the Bible says. So God bless you and keep you. May he let his face shine upon you. May he lift his countenance up before you and grant you peace, sweet shalom in Jesus' name. Be blessed. Thank you.